live from Ike's Cafe here in Kumasi, very close to Bantama, an area where this brother has lived. Uh, he's walked and run as well in this particular community and this hood. I remember back then when P. Weasel had the studios here and the Luxury was also around just across the street. <laughs> we could just find ourselves in the studios and sleep in there and all that. His name is Kojo Q. He's my guest on BTM Africa today. Keo. Charlie. <laughs> How long has this interview been coming? Like we've been talking about it for... For a while, for a long while, Charlie. Like since you started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, since you started. I should have been one of the first ones. Exactly. But, you know. Okay, yeah. I I'm little tired. Yeah, and no mercy. But well, it's all good. It's all good to yeah. have you. And I, I mean, especially at this time. At this point because, in time, yeah. Um, it's very important. Keo, Nana. Osei Kroon President. Nana. Again, Young Daddy Lumba. Oh, Nana. Young Daddy Lumba, <laughs> and and how did he get it? Uh, me, 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 Philly Daddy Lumba. Wa. Like, um, I'm a big, big, big fan of Daddy Lumba. Okay. Probably my top two artists of all time is Jay-Z and Daddy Lumba. Whoa. Yeah, so I I was always like in love with his consistency and how he has been able to mm. like stay for this long. Yeah. And most of the time people can say, oh, Lumba, you know, profane. Yeah. But as I, the more I grew, the more I understood some of the stuff that he was saying. Mm. And every time I listen, I, I hear something new. new. And it's not just profanity, there's a lot of truth there. Um, if you listen to songs like Makramo and Kwanoma, you understand? Yeah, mm. that's the same vibe that a song like You Alone yeah. pulls from, mm. you understand? So, because of that, I always felt like this is somebody that I would like for my career path to be. So I remember that when I was doing The Shining, Juice gave me a beat. Mm -hmm. And the song that I came up with for the beat, was Young Daddy Lumba. Young Daddy Lumba. Yeah, Young Daddy Lumba. And when I put it out, people just started calling me Young Daddy, Young Lumba. Daddy Lumba after that song. Mm. Yeah, and then because I love Daddy Lumba, I just like, it just I just it. went for it. Yeah. But apart from that, you have other names. Yeah, Osei Kroon Preston. Didn't Reggie Ruxo fight you over that? No, no, no. He actually, I actually called him up. Mm. Me, I'm very respectful of, of the pioneers and the old people. Yeah. So, before I do anything, if I can reach the person and ask for the person's like blessings or blessing. kind of concerns. Yeah, so I actually sent him the song that was called Osei Kroon Preston and everything. I sent it to him first. Listen, he even gave me advice like, yo, you know your people. It would have been better if like you switched up the beat for the beat to be. But yeah, I give you all my blessings. So the artwork even had me and him, a yeah. cartoon of us on it. Mm. Yeah, so I don't, I don't just do stuff. He, he sort of invented that name. Yeah. So I had to go to him mm -hmm. and he gave me his blessing. And I used it at the time when I felt like um, a lot of the Kumasi artists were not super vocal mm. about, you know, and I felt like the, the title was something that somebody needed to take yeah. and run with. And Charlie... Did it, it help? Um, I was trying to use it to help Kumasi. I wasn't even looking at it from the point how of beneficial be how to it would be. Yeah. Mm. So, as far as the impact of it on Kumasi, I think the you will be in a better place to tell me about <laughs> I, it. Then. He just wants to put me in yeah, the position. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but I'm Charlie, zilch. if I'm somebody else, <laughs> like it's like that. If somebody else wants to take up that mantle and keep running with it, Charlie. You also yeah. bless the person. Yeah, Charlie. We we have to keep it going. Yeah. Exactly. So Kojo Q is my guest. Like I told you, from the streets of Bantama, uh, I mean, Ashdown, Kofrum, Sofulai, wherever. But be our Kohobi. But let, let's, let's look at the, the career, the journey. You talked about shining. I mean, you've had successful careers. You've dropped tapes. You've done so many things. Can you take us through the journey, especially with the music and, and the projects that you've released? Okay, and how so. How far you've come? So the very first official project I released was like late 2010. Mm. I had gone to, before then I was rapping under the name Jazzy Flow. Jazzy yeah, Flow, as you, I remember. As you all know. <laughs> yeah, Jazzy <laughs> Flow. So I had gone to Accra to find a manager and I met this man named T. Sangari. Shout okay. out to T wherever he is. And he sat me down and then he educated me. Because that, before that time, I did rap in a lot of English, a lot of Lafa, like mm -hmm, whatever. Mm -hmm. He sat me down and he was like, yo, no, this is not the way to go. You are, you're coming from an authentic place, Kumasi, mm -hmm. so you should let that shine through mm. a little more. So I want you to go back to Kumasi and record a mixtape over other people's beats. And then I want you to record six mixtapes. 
No, he said no, he said twelve mixtapes, a mixtape a month. Mm. And then we'll see. Each one you improve on the other one and then yeah. we'll see at the end of the twelve you would have become perfect. Mm. Yeah, so I, I ended up doing like six of those. Yeah, so those were my first mixtapes. I consider that as just target practice, just me training. Yeah. Yeah, but people there were songs on there that were like street classics and internet classics like mm. Head Not Bo Twinkle. Yeah, Bo Twinkle. And, yeah, and, and that, that was like my first kind of big song. Yeah. Yeah. And so when that was done, I was like, yeah, you're ready now, so let's move into the big times. Mm. So the big time for me had always been to do The Shining. Okay. Yeah, I had recorded one version earlier, which I scrapped, and then I recorded another version, which I scrapped again. What, what so, was calling you to scrape them? It wasn't, it wasn't, wasn't where I needed to it to be. Yeah, like in my head, yeah, it wasn't where mm. I needed it to be. Even though some of my people will disagree, like, <laughs> but how Q will tell you exactly. the second version was better, mm. but nah, like, it wasn't where I needed it to be. Shout so, out to Fatal, I know he's, yeah, been, he's, he's been like there yeah, for you there, since. Yeah, he's been there like from Jump Shout yeah. out to Fatal. So, I decided, okay, it's taking too long for me to get it, right? So why don't I like put out other Projects? tapes? Okay. Yeah, so I put out Before We Shine 1 mm. and Before We Shine 2. two. And then, Right when I was about to be done with school, I was able to like sort of get the shine into a place where it was you good enough. It. And then I, I did a song called Corolla Music. Yeah. Which was which was funny. Like me and General Jay had gone out to go and shoot another video. Okay. And then on the day of the shoot, everything was just messed up. Wow. And then General was like, he doesn't like how the whole thing turned out. So mm. um, just so we don't waste the day. If I have any other freestyle song, yeah. I should let us record it. Wow. So I was like, oh, I have this freestyle that I was doing over the me goes Versace, Versace. Mm -hmm. So I let me hear it. So I played him like a voice note. I was like, ah, we need to do this. So he took me to the <laughs> studio. Like I remember he took me to the studio that very day mm. and over an iPad beat, okay. I recorded it again. And that became Corolla Music. Wow. And we went out the same day and we shot it. The video never came out, but we went out the same day and we shot it. Mm. Okay, so. I, I got a call from EL and he was like, yo, I really like that, the new joint. And when is the album coming out? If there's a song that you need me on, mm. like send it to me and I'll do it. And like EL was one of my people, the people that I looked up to at the time. So when he said that to me, like child, I was overjoyed. Manifest also hit me up on the same wave. Whoa. I was over, like just, just I was overjoyed. So I sent him low key mm -hmm. and then he also sent me back a song a DJ Drew song, Raise My Flag, that had him and Blackway on it already. Okay. Yeah, and I wrote that and I did that. I, I remember I sent it back to them. I sent it back to them. The first one, the BBNZ people were like, there was too much energy in it, so I should tone Slow down, down and bit. just be calm. So they brought it back, I recorded it again, I sent it to them. They were super happy about it. And then L did the, L did the low key verse low and he key. sent it to me. Then he called me and he was like, yo, we can keep going back and forth and do, I'll do verses for you all the time. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have people who push it, yeah, you know, be there's a no, yeah, there's no sense in doing that. So if you're down, we could, we could do a BBNZ thing where you come to BBNZ. Well, so that's what led to you joining yeah, BBNZ. That's what, that's what led to me. So I was the one that set up the whole meeting and me having to go there and meet the other guys. Mm. And Alvin actually telling me, oh, his younger brother is like a big fan of of my music mm -hmm. and we've been telling him about me too. So we just went. I remember that first meeting I went there with Pee Wee and Senor. I Senor. think yeah, Pee Wee and Senor. That's like a Q family. Yeah. yeah. So I went there with them and they were the ones that handled all the mm. every conversation. Because yeah, I didn't want to get leave involved them out in all that, yeah. yeah. So they, we just went there and we talked about it and we came to an agreement on how to move things. And I put out the shining on BBNZ. Whoa. And it was crazy. It, would, it, it did. It was wonderful for me. Like even the song "Young Daddy Numba," you had uh, one of the producers on the on the album went to get a haircut one time, uh -huh. and they were talking about how oh, Daddy Numba's Charlie, Daddy Numba's son just put out some <laughs> whatever shit. Young Daddy Numba, I'm born with it. Wow. And, and he sort of recorded like he he told me about the conversation mm -hmm. and like so it was it was massive. I could have taken it to the next level if I had had like. I had shot a video for some of the songs, the songs on there. On the, yeah. And um, it didn't get to happen because a lot of behind the scenes stuff. But mm. Charlie, 
Uh, well, you, you've had you've had I mean quite a, a tough career. Yeah. I mean, you know, unlike others, I'll, I'll take you to a recent uh, song that you released. You did with um, your your label brother, that is Shaker. Yeah. You did Mama A. Yeah. It was an instant banger. At yeah. a point, do you know that I mean when I heard the first the song at first, I didn't know you guys did it. Uh, a lot of people didn't. You know, know. I didn't know you guys because I, I never thought that Kojo and Lil Shika would do a song like that. <laughs> so when I realized that you guys, I was like, really? And I remember you performed it at a few So DJs Tina yeah. Fest and it was a big song and all that. With what you do and the kind of song that is Mama E, which you released, that seemed to have caught fire more than the other songs you've done, the typical hip hop you want to go in. Are you sometimes challenged of, or, or pushed to do that kind of song? Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> That's the thing with me. I'm not. I'm not really. Um, so, Mama Ye, Mama Ye, the whole idea of it came from Shaker, mm. and the label just wanted us after pen and paper to try something different. Mm. So they asked me to jump on it, and I did, and we put it out, and then gradually it caught fire like really. Yeah. But me personally, that's not. That's not a lane that I see for myself. Mm. I mean, I like commercial music. Uh, but I always felt like for me, Mama Ye was a bit too extreme. Mm. You understand? Like I, 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 I like the stuff that's sort of in the middle. Yeah. It, like and that also uh, Madakra. Yeah. You understand? Like stuff yeah. that's in the middle. Maybe even the stuff that I did with Kwame Eugene Number. Yeah. Like stuff that's in mm. the middle. I felt mm. like Mama Ye was a bit extreme, too yeah. extreme for, for me. You. But it did wonderfully. Mm. So I don't, I won't count out the fact that maybe. I may go there again mm. sometime, but I am not pushed to. And okay. and I'm, I don't think that, like, during the course of my career, I'll go that far a lot. Okay. Yeah. So maybe once in a while you could yeah, just jump into that yeah. lane, but that is not yeah. a territory you want no, to walk no, no, no. in. No, that's no, that's not really my, my territory. I didn't, the thing for me is, what's motivated me to do music mm -hmm. and what still drives me today has never been money. I mean, I love money. Of course. We all love money. We all love money. Yeah, but it has never been money. It, it has been how to make music that af affects people the same mm. way your brother was that then affect, affected me. Because mm. that's when I started making music, when I heard that song. Okay. You understand? So I want to, I, I want to make music where people, I would say, I make earphone and drive into the, to work music. Okay. You understand? Yeah, like, yeah, you listen and you then listen, it means something yeah. to you, mm. but not necessarily something that will get played in the clubs. Occasionally, I'll make something that will get played get play everywhere, but that really is my lane. Mm. So I, I feel like it is up to me and my label and my team to figure out how to monetize that the whole, like, yeah, that, that whole do. brand and that whole role. Mm. Yeah, because even if you if you look at people like even Sarkon and Manifest, mm -hmm. the core of what they do isn't necessarily bang in the club exactly you understand exactly. yeah so it is doable yeah. also we have the internet now yeah so that makes things it's quite a global yeah. you understand Ma magnum is doing shows in mauritius his my baby's number one in haiti and stuff yeah i've, seen, I've seen all those streams Rwanda and, all and stuff that. you understand so the world is super big mm. you cannot just like restrict yourself to what a few people and around you, know, you may yeah, want to listen to and all that because that will even be it's either Accra and Kumasi, Kumasi to a certain extent. It's not even the whole of Ghana. Mm. You understand? So for me, that's not... I am still on my journey. I am still trying to figure out the best possible way to monetize, monetize what I am doing. Monetize the very things you are doing. Yeah, so that I can do what I love and also make money out of it. Yeah. That's very important. One thing people have always asked, yourself and Shaker. Yeah. Are you a group? No, we're not a group. <laughs> <laughs> ah, they should know, like, VGMA... Two years in a row now, we've never been nominated. In best group? As best group, yeah. Because we, when we submit, we usually don't submit, submit as, as a group. group. And then they call us to ask us, ah, why didn't you submit for the best group? And we tell them we are not a group. Mm. Yeah, so we are not, we are not a group. You, you see, are, pen, you and paper, uh -huh. pen and Paper Exactly, was that the project. Name. It was the name of the project. Mm -hmm. But people started calling us Pen and Paper. <laughs> <laughs> but it is the name of the project. Yeah. It was not a name of a group. Okay. You understand? We are not called pen and paper. So mm. if we decide to do another project, 
and call it Ike's Cafe. Then it means it one is Ike, one is yeah, Cafe. Yeah, Cafe, you understand? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Amazing. So they said it and they put it loud and clear. That, yeah, we're not a I group. I mean, they are not a group. We have Shaker and then you have Kojo Q as well. Let's look at you and Kumasi. I've made reference to it before. Yeah. But what keeps taking you back to Kumasi? And you feeling so proud of Kumasi, yeah, always mentioning surely. Bantama, mentioning all the streets, <laughs> where they grow, where they grow, grow foam, <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah. What, 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 what is it with you and Kumasi? I love this place, bro. I, I know Gula, you like, Charlie, it's my Kumasi part. Yeah, like, even, even when I was, when I started going to school in Accra, because most people don't, don't know that I spent a large part of my life here. Mm. The first time I, the first time I went to Accra, I was like a kid. I went there for maybe three days. I didn't really even came back. And then the next time I, I went to Accra, I was done with SS already. Wow. Looking to go, you understand? So a big part of my being is it's here. Was, yeah. So even when I'm in Accra, trust me, I'm not, I'm not super comfortable as when I, as soon as I enter this atmosphere, like. Obviously. Yeah, like I'm, there's a certain <laughs> calm that washes yeah. over me. Mm. So, I love this place. Trust me. I love it here. Charlie, Fufu no cry, no nana. I don't know if you're crying, I don't know if you're crying. I don't know if you're crying, Fufu, like Fufu, now Fufu, you're crying, 30 Ghana, 40 Ghana. I don't know if you're 40 Ghana. I don't know if you're crying, I don't know if you're crying. Anyway, fast forward. You announced recently that you are dropping a new project, Q Season. Now, that's not the name of the project, actually. That's why I'm trying to. You see, when you tweeted, and a lot of people are now thinking that, okay, the album coming up is called Q Season. You've dropped a single of it already. But still, we don't know the project title. Yeah. What is it about the project? Um, so, I'll say here first. Mm. Um, the project is called For My Brothers. For My Brothers. Yeah. For you my heard brothers. it here first yeah, on BTM Africa. First. For, my, for My Brothers. And I wanted to make a project where I'm talking about people my age and people who are like fresh out of school, mm. facing life for the first time. You know that when you're in school and throughout your whole younger years, you want to be an adult. Exactly. And there's this picture of adulthood that they paint for you that you think that, yeah, Charlie, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But now, when you get into it, then you realize that, yo, bro. The picture they painted <laughs> yeah, is not exactly how it yeah. is. So, that's, that is where the project is coming from. So, I'm mm -hmm. exploring, like, topics that people face in adulthood. Okay. Will, Go like, yeah, will, like, get into. So even if you look at you alone, yeah, which is the for, first single, yeah, yeah, which is the first single, for the most part of your life, you live your life feeling like, oh, what, what, what would this person think about what I am doing? Mm -hmm. What do you understand? And I'm just trying to tell Charlie, bro, when you go to a certain stage, you come to realize that Charlie, it's really you alone. Yeah, it's really like all you because what matters is you and you. Yeah, and yeah. where you're trying to take it. Mm -hmm. So that is like the tone of the album and. What most of the, the songs direction like, is yeah, supposed the direction, to go. Yeah. I've had the opportunity to listen to a number yeah, of singles number of on singles, it. Yeah. I mean, if I'm able to put it out, he's got amazing collaborations. He's, he's got features. I mean, some from Nigeria, some from. We have our own Ghanaians on yeah, there. On there yeah. uh, I heard you and uh, Walasi. Yeah, yeah, that's the that's the next single. That's, that's the next out. single. Yeah, we just shot the video, um, so we're waiting for everything to come together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and. A funny story happened. During the shoot? No, when I was playing it for you. I think I should <laughs> yeah. let you tell it. Yeah, I should okay, let you so, tell it. <laughs> so we were in the car parked at the car park listening to the song. Apparently somebody came to park by our side. You know, he started looking into our car and I was wondering, yo, I, I, I got a let, you know, security wise. Yeah. So I was like, what is this guy trying to do? I was just sitting and looking at him. Now after the song, this guy knocks on the window, we roll it down. And it's like, <laughs> you know, so it's like, is the yeah. song out? Where can I get it to buy? Like, no, it's not out yet. <laughs> we are just listening to it. It's like, okay, so when would it be out? He was eager to actually yeah, get the like, song. And I, I was guess. like, wow, this is a song we are just playing in the car. And this, the situation is that we had rolled up the windows. It wasn't, yeah, like, it wasn't like super loud. Exactly. 
but yeah. he he paid attention in his car and then came out to us and asked of the song and if he could we said we'll be coming out so he says obey to me and you want to drive so drive like, so like yeah. yo my guy relax for us and the, and the funny thing is that's the last song i recorded for the album Whoa. it wasn't even meant to be a single Whoa. so i went to um one of my 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 mentors in the music thing mm. to try and help him to talk to him to let him help me pick out a single that he thinks can be promoted on the radio well enough because he he is going to help me promote it on the radio too okay so i played him all the singles and he chose some other two singles and i was like oh i have this other song called well, i see that you i just want you to hear it but it's not anything it's like okay cool then as soon as i start playing it now he's like ah so why didn't you play this? It's like, nah, 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 nah. Forget everything that uh -huh. I chose. This is the song. Wow. So for me to hear that from the other guy. The other guy. Yeah, who wasn't even like, you know, he wasn't even somebody that's like a typical. A typical. Few, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't exactly. even know who I was. Yes. Yeah, so it validated it for me that, okay, this has to be the second single. Mm. Yeah, so then from that point, I had to go find money and shoot the video. Because <laughs> it wasn't even part of the plan. When, when, when is that single coming out? Uh, it's coming out, um, I don't know when this video is going out, but it's coming out like 11th October. 11th it's October. coming out with the pre-order okay. of the project. Mm. So if you pre-order the project, it will automatically unlock that song that for song you. for you. And then maybe sometime in the next week, we'll drop the video. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Let's get into the album. You've told us the title exclusively. Yeah. That is for my brothers. And you told us the theme around the, the whole album. How many songs are we having on the album? Uh, 15. 15 songs. Yeah. That could be sl split into two different projects. <laughs> if, if, if I was doing EPs. EPs, you would have yeah, that. I love, I love the number three. Mm. Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's perfect in a way. Okay. And a lot, of the, a lot of the ways in which like, the world works, mm -hmm. usually in threes, you yeah. understand? Yeah. So, um, for every project that I've done, the number has always been a multiple of three. Of three. Whoa. Yeah, so... It's either my first six mixtape, they were always 12. Mm. Um, I think Before We Shine, one was 15. Before We Shine, two was like 18. And then The Shining was 15 again. Wow. Yeah, so, so there's something that yeah, it's, you've it's, been conscious of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. It, it's, I'm very conscious of that. It runs through everything that I do. Mm. So. 15 tracks. Yeah, so it's either 15 or 12 or 9. Yeah, and I feel like for the message that what I wanted to say, mm. 15 was perfect. Perfect to yeah. complete everything. Yeah, but it's not like super long. It's not like 15 tracks that run for two hours two or hours, anything. Yeah. yeah. I think uh, the run time should be anywhere between 40 to 50 minutes. That's super yeah. cool. Yeah, so. Super cool. So now we know Walassi is on it. Yeah. Who else? Um, I have AI on it. I'm giving you all the joints. Yeah. <laughs> I have AI on it too. <laughs> um, and then I have um, Aduma. Oh, wow. On it, and then I have Maya mm. on it, and then I have um, Show Them Camp and Lady Don't Leave from Nigeria, from Nigeria on it. Yeah, and maybe I have Boyd Lamy on it. I may be forgetting somebody. Jay Derobi. Jay Yeah, Whoa. I have Jay Derobi on Charlie. Whoa. That, Charlie, that kid is amazing. Like, everybody, I, I'm, I don't do features based on names, mm. especially when I'm doing albums. Albums. When I'm doing like singles, yeah. I can do it based on a name. Okay. You understand? Now and there, I usually let whatever, whoever I'm featuring is comfortable with, then we do it. Yeah. But when, I, when I'm doing albums, it's who whose sound fits for the, the song. particular yeah. song. So I don't really do. So for me to put somebody on the album, it really has to be like somebody that, mm. whose art I respect and I know that they can bring a certain type of thing to the... To the yeah. To and the what J. Derobi, Wallace, AI did on the album is totally ridiculous, true. Wow. And Maya, Aduma. I, heard, I, I, just, heard, yeah. I heard the people from Nigeria on it. Yeah. They've got some amazing voice yeah. and all that on those projects. Yeah, Lady Donnelly, shout out to her. She just put out her album. Okay. And then Show Them Camp. Yeah. Uh, absolutely legends in Nigeria when it comes to rap. Mm. Yeah. And they didn't even give me a lot of stress like about the whole thing. Because um, Juice, DJ Juice produced a record. Yeah. Okay. And he gave me the beats with, with the Lady Donnelly. Mm. Um, Vocals on it on already, it. Okay. and then when I did the verse, I was like, "Who can I get from Nigeria again to represent that will take it to the next level?" And it was like either M I or show them. Okay. And I had a, a I hit Wallace up, okay. and he, because he had already worked with show them, okay. so he linked me up to Wale, and I sent it to him, and Charlie, he he loved the song, so 
happy also. They gave me the they gave, they sent me the vest back in like a week. Wow. Yeah, top songs like. So crazy. let me break it down for you. The album is coming out very soon. We announced the date, but obviously you've got for my brothers. That's yeah. the title of the album. Yeah. You've got features with AI. You've got um, uh, he mentioned Jay Derby, several others that he's mentioned it. Obviously, it's going to be an album to look out for. Like I said, I'm having the opportunity to listen to a couple of songs on the album and they are all fire. 15 tracks coming out. When exactly is it coming out? Even though pre-order is going to be activated very soon. Yeah, the pre-order will be activated 11th October, but the album itself will be 1st November. 1st November. Yeah, the full album. So, um, the pre-order will come with the Wallace single. Okay. Definitely in the video. And then that's that for the uh, pre-release singles, just the two and then the album will come out and then after the album comes out a few more videos for mm. yeah are so you far. releasing this under still under bbnz yeah yeah, yeah. It's, Charlie, it's still bbnz live mm. <laughs> yeah i to be honest with you i i haven't thought of leaving like bbnz well. um i told alvin the other day i feel like bbnz saved my life because mm. at, the, at the point at which they signed me if that hadn't happened, you don't I, know yeah, I didn't really happened. know where next I would have taken it. And mm. just the whole experience has taught me a lot. Mm. And just the freedom that they give you. A lot of things happen in my career where people think, oh, BBNZ forced this guy to do this. Mm. But that's the thing about BBNZ, they, they will never they force never you. They you. will never force you to do anything. You can bring a song to them, and they'll say, we don't like the song. Mm -hmm. And you can take the song and go and drop it yourself if you want. Oh, wow. And if you go and drop it, and it, it turns out that people like it, they will give you money to shoot video and whatever. Okay. They are straightforward like that. We don't like it, but if you think this is what works for you, go. Mm. If they like a song too, they really like uh, super behind it. Yeah. So I feel like, I don't know which other label you can go to that will give you yeah, this give much you freedom, mm. you know, to like experiment, try and fail. And it's not like, oh, you haven't had a hit song in like a year, so go somewhere we are yeah, just wasting yeah, money yeah, and all that yeah, so the so, challenges yeah so i appreciate them for that yeah the album is dropping soon where do you want to see the album what impact did you really want the album to have um like i was saying earlier about magnum magnum and mr easy mm. have proven to me that i'm not crazy <laughs> because you see i always i always had this vision that the music could be beyond uh, shows yeah. that I don't have to make music just thinking about Ghana, mm -hmm. that I have to make music and think about everywhere else, and then we could go there. Yeah. But until Mr. Easy happened, it felt like you were crazy. Yeah. Even when you discussed it with your fellow musicians, nobody really like, believed it. Yeah, like, how are you it? going to do it on a level where now you have a Ghanaian producer producing songs on the Beyonce album, mm -hmm. doing songs with Diplo? You understand? Mm -hmm. So for Mr. Easy to happen, and for God to be so good that Mr. Easy didn't just happen, but Mr. Easy was also a huge part of somebody that came out of the queue. Exactly. You understand? And you know, that's one thing a lot of people don't know. They I don't remember know, yeah. the studios of Bantama, the very first single um, was the time, Pee Pee Dance. Yeah, Pee Pee. But before then, he had another song that I won't talk about because <laughs> he'll be, yeah, he'll be, I uh, know. <laughs> he'll call me up right now, like, yo, Kojo, I'm trying to be governor one day. What are you doing? Yeah, but yeah, I his know. very first, yeah. And, Pippi Dance and was like yeah, the, was one, the that one that gave him yeah. the... And people don't even know Banku Lies, the very original version was produced by Senor. And Whoa. then he did a remix with Jules, mm. and then he flew, you yeah. understand? So he came from, he's somebody I saw around, mm -hmm. that he came from the same places that I came from. Yeah. And he's been able to take it this far. So it proves to me that I'm not crazy. It proves to me that it is possible. Mm. Guys, my guest today has been K.O.J.O. Could you Q? Shared with us the journey and how far things have come the album is coming out very soon that's in november first november yeah, first it's november. dropping but then you can pre-order from 11th october yeah so you check it out on all the streaming platforms and then you get it locked you yeah. want to do any of the songs we've not heard yet you want any, to do a verse on any other maybe the last one because that's <laughs> that's coming out not yeah soon. that's coming out yeah. very soon uh, i don't know if I, if that's what i want to do okay so <laughs> Just like BBNZ, I'm allowing you to do what you want to do. Just like, ah! <laughs> uh, I'm even trying to see if I can remember uh, verses from it. That's the thing. 
Okay. Uh, Whichever way you want to go. For me okay. and, my, and my viewers, we are down with it. Whichever way you want to go. And I remember Okay, well. no, no. Yeah, we'll to see so I won't chat and say, yeah. What the CRC has, I won't say, yeah. But we papa, bread pace, you can't, when you're doing it, yeah. Oh, papa, then I know, or then I'm ready, yeah. We need some money to go on a daily and stress. This is my hassle there for pay me, me prepare. That should be a mommy baby, it's a free set. My kids will take the blame, be me should share, you know. If my puppy way you feel me, his mates been out there hustling since the 80s. So their kids can see better days, find better ways, elevate and make better pay. Share, rich dad, poor dad. Which dad's your dad? Kofi. And so rich dad, poor dad. Which one you born now? You go be. Ne papa sika nyini sika sen. O kasa sa amiti mi wun se wun yen sika pen. She ji, ye wu kwe si na o kisa pen. Na me wa minus 20 inti no me da sen. Man I forget meals. All bets are off. Run on the treadmill. If I stop, I go four heads, my dog. 9 to 5 for this degree I get. I survive and submit. Me here pee, I guess. See, I stress. We invest every fee I get. Fee se men so. My kid is for go G-I-S. Wow. Yeah, Charlie. So? Amazing. Yeah, they should be ready for it. Yeah. Which song do we have this on? Uh, this is Rich Dad Poor Dad. It's the first song. Yeah, it's the first song on the, on the, the, the intro song. Yeah, wow. it's pretty heavy. On that one, I am talking about um, how the sins of our fathers and our parents affect us. Mm. You understand? And trying to tell my brothers to not let our sins affect our kids. Wow. That's a certain ideas and mind states that we go in. Mm. You understand? It is defeatist. Yeah. Like you see that, oh, we were at the beat. Then, 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 then. But Charlie, ni papa and Mobra and Kawada. And going on your other beat. What you are saying is that, oh, papa and Mobra. Exactly. Uh -huh. You are just deflecting the fact that, oh, papa and Mobra, and then, oh, it's not, oh, yes, I know, be so, yeah. That'd be, that'd be, that'd be. It's, if, oh, a problem, uh, you have a problem, you should have a problem with your dad. And not with somebody, not who, with somebody made, who, who yeah. lived the life and made yeah, the son and the daughter. Yeah, because, bro, you're so you breast of the bear, you're a woman, you're a master of the bread, you're a woman. Of course. What's your major? Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, Charlie, try no papa. I saw you a bit now. I ain't. No, man, yes, you can't. So, we buy that that beans. You don't have to. No, 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 no. no, no. no. We don't. We should. Because you are, you are suffering because you want, yeah, you want the next your generation children to, to have a better. better future. Yeah, than, yeah so than that one did. there. That's just, and that's a running theme through the project. The project. You understand? Mm. So, I'm trying to tell my brothers, let's be better men than the people that raised us so that we can raise a better generation. For my yeah. brothers coming out soon, guys, thank you very much, Kojo. I'm really Charlie. appreciative of the time you spent with me. It's, it's been insightful, especially talking about the upcoming album and, and the theme and the direction at which it's going. This is something that I would ask any young guy, I mean, our generation after us and those a bit ahead of us, yeah. pay attention to the theme, pay attention to the songs. And obviously, it's going to make an impact. Obrafo is one of the people you like. Yeah, super. <laughs> He's celebrating Pai Muka. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Funny enough, I don't know. Like, nobody really from his camp has reached out to me mm. on any level. Because I would have been, I would have loved to be part of that documentary. Well, but I think they had, like, better people or people that they know. Yeah. Yeah, as more vocal to be a part of it. So... That's pretty cool, but he's one of like Adang. I keep saying it everywhere. That's the that is the reason I rap. Wow. Yeah, that, that is the reason. I, that is those are lyrics that I can never forget. Mm. Yeah. So it seems more like apart from just the Adang, it's like a for is the reason. Yeah. His music. Right. Yeah, his reason. music because it started from Adang, mm. and see, I bought every I bought every Obrafo album on cassette. So this day I still have some. I bought every Obrafo album. I bought. I didn't buy Paimuka. My elder cousin bought Paimuka. Okay. He let me have it. I bought Asem Sebe. Mm. I bought um, Tofa. I bought uh, the one that had Entetiapa on it. Entetiapa, yeah. Yeah. I bought Heavy. Mm. Yeah. I think maybe the one I didn't buy was the the last album he dropped. The one that had the Ghetto Love and all that. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah, with, yeah. yeah. But yeah, like I bought every Obra. So he's a he's a huge part of my makeup. Mm. But Chame Kwame is also a huge part of my makeup because you know at a certain point in time coming from Kumasi, Kumasi Kwame yeah, the was first there. time I met my froze like I froze I was in Pocalos Pocalos like, yeah, Studios Pocalos Studios they had just sent me to go out to go and buy something and as I was walking out he walked in and I was just there like <laughs> and he just walked past and went inside and I was just still there like wow like I couldn't believe like yo Chame Kwame walked past, walk like past me like that yeah so Charlie yeah. Should our brother first team reach out to you and say, Kujo, we want you to perform at the concert? I'll, 
I would love to perform at the end with him someday. Wow. If it's not at the concert, someday. Mm. Yeah, someday. Someday. So Edward Crazy's concept and the whole team, you've heard it. Yeah. Richard Tukujo. He would love to perform. I mean, I, I would love to see him perform at the end with a brafo yeah. at the concert one day, as well. One day. If it's, if it's I not even want to see it at the concert. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm going to if push it's not this. At the concert, yeah. I'm going to push this. We should see this at the concert. Oh, Bravo, let's make it happen. I'll be so happy. I'm just hoping that I don't freeze <laughs> when I see your Bravo because that's another thing too, Charlie. Maybe you guys could even work on a project. Who knows? Oh, that, if hey, yo, bro, <laughs> bro, like I've been, I've been trying to get ready on a song like for so long. Whoa. Yeah, if I have a Bravo on a song, bro. I can't promise you this, but I'll try. You try to push it. I'll for try me. and get your bra for the song. So I should get the song ready. Get the song oh, ready. Oh Jesus, it's happening. So you, you guys heard it, yo. <laughs> NY just promised me that he can try. I'm not saying that he exactly yeah, that he can try. So, I'll do my best to make yeah, it happen. Definitely. Let's, let's make it happen. That, that would be that would be a, that would be a dope happen. thing for me. I like me or Braffo and Puppy on a song. Yo. Because that's the only. I can say for a fact the only person I have met that's a. Probably a bigger Obrafo fan than I am is Papi Kojo. Papi Kojo. Yeah, pro like a bigger hip life fan mm. than I am is Papi Kojo. Because so he's the only three person that. Yeah, Charlie. We, we, back in the day, we could sit all day and just talk hip life, like all day. <laughs> like from album to album, like all day. Wow. Yeah. So, Let's see what happens. Maybe uh, we'll try and pull some some few strings and see what happens. And make it happen. Yeah. Maybe maybe we'll start with the performance. That will be the highlight the, of my year. Let's see. Let's yeah. see what happens. <laughs> let's see what happens, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to share this. Inform your friends. Let them get ready for the album that is dropping. And of course, they got to check Kojo out on social media. Yeah. Um, Twitter Kojo underscore Q, Instagram Kojo underscore Q, Facebook K O hyphen J O Q. All of them are verified, so if you check, if you check and it doesn't have the, the blue tick, that means it's not there. me. Yeah. So. so the Q is C U E. Yeah, C U E. Not yeah, not Q. Q. Yes. <laughs> Very important. Yeah. <laughs> Very important. So yeah. check him out. YouTube as well. The yeah, YouTube. Is on yeah, there, so the video is on there. It. Just, just search Kojo Q you alone or just Kojo Q. I'm mm -hmm. sure my channel will pop, pop up. Pop up. Yeah, and so please subscribe to my YouTube. Mm -hmm. Please, all the subscribers on my brother's YouTube. As soon as you watch this, go straight to my YouTube of and course. subscribe. And if you have subscribed to my YouTube and you're watching it because of me, subscribe to my brother's YouTube too. That's right. Please, yeah. Hango, hanga. Yeah. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Check it out. Uh, I mean, our social media platforms are also active as well at NYDJ Live across both Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Just make sure you subscribe. Like you said, check out the content is coming out with the videos are coming up. Just make sure you be a part of this and support this movement. Thank you very much for watching. Shout out to, to the man who never comes and never appears in front of the camera. Always behind the camera. Shout out to you. And shout, and shout out to, to NYDJ Live. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, uh, he's also a testimony to everything that they say. You know, people have this idea that you can't stay in Kumase mm. and do it on a certain level. Exactly. And you're here and you're doing it on that level. Charlie. So I like, shout out to you. I'm trying. And for putting the city on hard. I'm trying. I know it's not easy, but you I know. know. Yeah, but yeah. you're doing your thing. Yeah, so. we're gonna do it. Guys, Definitely. thank you for watching. And again, shout out to the big man boss. And thanks to the people at Ike's Cafe for hosting us. Unfortunately, our drinks they didn't come today. Yeah, but whenever you're in, in Kumasi, you should check this place out. Yeah, it's an amazing place. I mean, we, we this is not paid for. I mean, we just love the place. It's a beautiful place, and so you can just Come, come check through, it out. Yeah. I mean, there are people who've come in who, who watched some of our interviews from the states. They came here and were like, "Wow!" wow. Yeah, you know? that's so that's that's this is a safe room. Just come yeah. through and enjoy all yeah. that they offer here. Thank yeah. you for watching once again, and have a great day.